your boy Bert Collins tapping in once again coming to you with another banger another video it's been like eight days since I dropped a video I know get better drop more be more consistent I'm trying I got a little two-year-old daughter and it's just hard to drop videos and be a good parent at the same time honestly um, I've been copping though I've been buying things so I got like two weeks worth of stuff this is gonna be a jam-packed video we're gonna fit it all in, and then I'm gonna let you guys go. All you guys gotta do is three things for me. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you can stay tapped in with me. All right, first thing is first, Side Collective. You guys remember a couple videos back, I bought a coin pouch by a Side Collective Genuine Leather. It's a black owned company, so you know, I'm trying to stay as black owned and stay putting back into the community as I can. Anyways, so I just bought a pair of reflective laces. These laces are super fat and super reflective. Um, they were, I think, $25. I honestly, I should have bought two pairs because I love the way they look. Check them out. Got the chrome little lace tips. These are quality. They're thick, they're soft, and they're reflective. Um, I've already put a, put them in a pair of shoes to show. Where's the shoe? Oh, here they are. I already put them in a pair of shoes to show you what they look like in a pair of shoes. They're a little long for this Yeezy, but they look really good in the Yeezys. They are a little bit long because these are customized, custom to fit the culture of culture vulture which is a shoe that side collective has coming out i bought a pair of them so these are going to go inside of those but i wanted to try them in a pair of shoes just to see how they look um obviously this is these reflective with the lace so i'll do um i'll, I'll do a close-up where you can see the actual reflective on the shoe but yeah this is my first purchase i should have bought two I really should have. Hopefully, they'll do another pre-order for the laces, and I'll be able to tap in once again. But these are dope. $25. These fat laces. Anyways, so that's the first thing. So, shout out to Kasaya Collective. Uh, next, uh, I bought some merch. I bought some merch. Takashi Murakami. Takashi Murakami. Billy Eilish merch. You know this. Uh, this came Uniqlo. You feel me? I think this was a dope collab. They had a whole bunch of different styles, but for me, I bought. I ended up buying two pairs of this. This shirt, one for me, one to keep and one to hold. And then I bought two pairs of this, this one. One for my girl and one to hold. So that was this, that was my second pickup. Pretty dope. Fourteen ninety was the price. That was the second pickup. What do we got now? Oh, we got some Funko Pops. So, uh, most of you guys know, know if you've been watching my videos, I'm a vendor for a soda company. So, 
um, sometimes I merchandise uh, Walgreens or Bartels, and whenever I, I merchandise a store like that, I always go to the like, little toy section and see if I can find a Funko Pop. Came across a Shawn Michaels uh, Walgreens exclusive. Thought it was cool though. The Heartbreak Kid, man. Used to watch this guy when we was young, so adding him to the collection. Uh, got it for regular price, which I think was like eight ninety nine or nine ninety nine. You know, thought that was cool. And then uh, I ended up working at a a bar tails and uh, came across this Tupac. This is like all eyes on me, Tupac, right here. Thought this was pretty dope. He's like stuff. He got earrings, uh, necklace. The uh, watch, bracelet, rings, the black bandana, and that like that leather vest he wore. You know what I'm saying? Good old Tupac. Yeah, and uh, rest in peace, Tupac. Happy birthday! I think his birthday was two days ago. He would have been, uh, I think, 49. It's crazy. Rest in peace, Tupac. Uh, next, you can't have a, the Tupac without the Biggie. I got these the same day in the same store. I think I got the last two. So I was looking for more, and these are the only two I've seen. So you got Biggie with the fedora and the Wallabies. I need that Biggie with the crown and that Bro the Biggie with the Brooklyn jersey. So that's, that's next on the list. But this is dope. Yeah, so I need this one, and I need that one. You know, I, I got a whole bunch of... I try to stick, honestly, I'll be honest with you. I, I try to stick to Black Funko uh, figures. Just, I think it's cool. These are the people we all look to, looked up to as children. Pac, Biggie. Yeah, man. Super duper dope. Okay, so that was Funko Pop. We got the Shawn Michaels, the Tupac, and we got the Notorious B.I.G. Like I told you guys, this, this, this video is jam-packed. I've been buying a lot of stuff. Also, okay, next. Now we're on to shoes. This one I got for my daughter. And it's an uh, Adidas collab. Adidas and Disney. I got sent a link by my girlfriend, and she was like, oh, these are cute. And I was like, oh, wow. Adidas did a collab with Disney. I'm going to hop on that. 7K, she can't fit them yet. But as you can see, before the run, Frozen collab, Adidas, Disney. Let's open it up. Okay, so you got this blue runner with the strap, no laces, which is great, so she don't trip over them. Let's see if I can get that better. There you go. Three stripes. You got the winter forest. You got the Adidas logo right here. Oh, we got Elsa right here. I think she's going to love these when she sees them. She hasn't seen them. I'm not going to give them to her until she can actually fit them. Good sole. Pretty good traction. I feel like they're going to be really comfortable for her. What's it say on the inside? Let's see real quick. Oh, just the Eco Ortho. So should be really comfortable for my little baby for my baby so that was a good pickup and then last but not least last but not least does this have a price on this does not have the price on i think i paid 40 bucks for these i can't remember i think 
Go online. They may they may still be there. They were selling out, but cool. Last but not least, a shoe. I think on my last my last shoe video, I struck out trying to get these shoes. But J23 app ended up posting a link, and I ended up getting a delayed W. And this would be the Air Jordan 13 Retro Flint. These are fire. These ones got the reflective. I will do a close up. Should pop up any time now. A little picture in picture or something. These are the reflective. These are fresh. These are a size 10. You guys want to see the box real quick? I'm pretty sure that I got these from Foot Action. Or East Bay. One of them. I can't remember. Pretty sure it was foot action though. The Flint. Now let's go around this Flint real quick. I know you guys, most of you guys have seen these, this shoe already. Probably more than enough. But the suede on this is amazingly soft. Um, it's just a really clean shoe. You got that carbon fiber on the bottom got that little hologram J Jordan Jumpman at the bottom got the 23 the hologram I think that's dope they're just, it's just a clean shoe now I have a 2010 pair of these but they're old and I've worn them and worn them and I've never cleaned them but I do have a 2010 pair they definitely have seen better days. These are soft too. They're a little bit more worn in, so. But they, they are, they're definitely dirty. They can uh, <laughs> go for a good cleaning. Let's do a quick comparison. This is your 2010 pair. This is your 2020 pair. You can definitely see a difference. The blue on the 2010 pair is a lot lighter and the gray on the 2010 pair is a lot darker the blue on here this is the 2020 pair is darker but the gray is lighter and there's also like i said that reflective these don't have a reflective at all um i feel like the tongue is a lot longer and wider where this one is a lot shorter and narrow more narrow now you can see how dirty the shoe is when you, when you <laughs> line them up next uh, side by side. You know, I think I like this shoe better. This shoe will be put on ice for a long time because I still have this shoe. And I'm sure once I clean this shoe up, it'll look pretty close to new. I might actually do a video cleaning these up, you know, and just trying to make them go good. But that's it, you guys. I really appreciate everybody for rocking out with me. Like I said, I'm trying to stay consistent. I'm trying to drop good videos, quality videos. I know right now for me, people are like, just keep putting out, keep putting out videos, keep putting out videos, but I want my videos to be quality. With that being said, I'm happy that you stayed till the end. Whoever did stick around to the end, I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate all my new subscribers. We're at uh, 81 subscribers, We, you know, so we're doing something right. So keep sharing, keep liking, keep subscribing. Uh, I don't think there's anything left to say, to be honest with you guys. It's your boy, Bert Collins. I've already tapped in, and now I'm tapping out. Peace.